One is the number of gods, and he gives two shits about who gets killed and who lives. Three times Balaam and his donkey have spats before God starts talking out that Medea Knight's ass. Five chapters in, things get scary for chicks. Six stuff's prescribed if they're getting side dick, and seven's for rusting unless you need stones to break some stick-gathering heathen's skull in his bones. Eight too much mana? Should you voice your critiques, God will plague you and kill you, but he'll send quail for weeks. Then that asinine bastard might invoke some damn clause to show you what a tenuous promise that promised land was. Eleven tribes conscribe all their fighting age men, but the twelfth tribe, the Levites, just carry the tent. Twenty is war age, but like most things you'll notice, the tribe that's exempt is the one that has Moses. Thirty days mourning when God kills Aaron on high, then forty years waiting for all the bad Jews to die. Fifty percent of the book we spend bored counting Jews in the booty they offer the Lord. We get a couple of censuses from all of the tribes, enumerated offerings are in detail described. As the name would suggest, the book's obsessed with amounts, but no number gets higher than God's body count. We can start with the animals who are killed by the score each time the tabernacle opens its door. Bulls, rams, and donkeys, pigeons, and sheep, and a pile of quail about three cubits deep. Israelites, oh yeah, he kills them by the thousands. He opens the earth and he swallows their houses. He burns their encampments and serpents and plagues. And what heinous encroachments elicit God's rage? Being hungry or thirsty. Doubting Moses' clout, going to the tabernacle once the candles are out, being honest about scouting, gathering sticks, complaining to Moses and acting like dicks, whoring with Moabites, lighting incense all wrong, being treated like shit and not just going along, thinking manna tastes nasty, being slow to obey, or living in cities that stand in his way. But it isn't like God is always a villain. When he orders Moses to murder all the Medeanite children, he says if they're virgins, and if they behave, he can spare the young women and keep them as slaves.